Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Bezerra Aria Top. The Aria series is a new offering from Bezerra, which is actually the world's oldest espresso machine manufacturer. They've been active since 1901. Bezerra were pioneers with steam-driven machines, then later, of course, with pump-driven machines, and they continue to innovate in the 21st century. The Aria series has a few different models, and the one I'm presenting today is the top, and that's the top of the line model. So these machines have a rotary pump, so you can plumb the machine in or run it as a pour over from a tank like I'll be doing today. The machine has a PID to control the temperature inside the heat exchanger boiler that also acts as a shot timer. And it comes with a flow control device that allows you to vary your flow uh, to really dial in your espresso and get the most out of your shot. To present the area top, I'm going to be discussing its features. And then afterwards, I'll make a few different sets of drinks to show you this machine in action. The Aria, for being such a full-featured machine, is actually quite compact. It's very small in size. Uh, it's only 20 centimeters wide, which is under 8 inches, so it should fit into tight spaces. We have the machine available in three different finishes, uh, three different colors. The first one is chrome with the black. It has the black squares at the side. The one here in the middle, of course, is white and also comes with the black. Very handsome, very classy. And the last one will be the black with the wood. So here you have uh, wooden squares at the side and it also comes with the wooden accents for the steam and hot water wands. Of course, the flow control, the E61 and the portafilter. I'll start at the top of the machine. Uh, and here we have the uh, cup warming surface. This of course has passive heat. You would put your cups on here to warm them up. It's passive heat from the boiler. The cup warming rail is actually made out of metal. That's standard. It's quite nice. Uh, some brands just include a piece of plastic. Uh, this is much more robust and I think in my opinion looks much nicer. It's also very easy to remove the top. You just lift it up by that rail and that will expose the water tank. The water tank's got a nice big opening so you can pour from like a pitcher or something like that. Or if you like, you just remove the tube and pull this up and take this to your water source. The water tank is also a three liter size, so if you're running this as a pour over machine, you don't have to refill it that often. Three liters is quite generous. The Aria has a E61 group head, which is of course very well known, very renowned for its temperature stability. It's a standard, uh, the most widely used commercial group head in the world. With the Aria top, it's been modified from its original design with a flow control valve. And what the flow control valve does, it basically acts as a mechanical flow restrictor. So every machine has a flow restrictor inside, but this one, it's actually a variable one. So you can change the flow of the water. The pressure remains the same from the pump. However, uh, if you restrict the flow, you have less water coming through. And what that allows you to do is uh, do longer pre-infusions, for example, or uh, you know, just vary your flow throughout your extraction, which can change the flavor of your coffee. I also quite like Bezerra's design of their flow control valve. You can see that the knob here to control it, it first of all, it's quite large, so it's easy to hold on to, easy to manipulate, but also it's offset from the group, so it doesn't get as hot. This group runs at over 80 degrees Celsius, so sometimes flow control valves can also get quite hot. And Bezerra solved that by you know, offsetting it a little bit more and giving you this nice, generous sized knob, it makes it very easy to use. The machine has three gauges. The one here on the left, this is a double gauge. So the top side measures the pressure inside the boiler. Uh, that's fairly standard. The bottom side of that gauge will measure your pump pressure. Now this machine has a rotary pump, so that's gonna jump up to nine or whatever we have it set to very quickly. The third gauge is on the group, and this is actually a part of the flow control system. So this will measure the pressure building inside your group during your extraction. So on a normal machine that has a standard flow restrictor, that's gonna build up to nine bars quite quickly. Here, we can choose whether we want to slow that down to pre-infuse it. We would restrict the flow uh, greatly, just a little trickle, and that way we can have a nice long pre-infusion uh, before opening the uh, flow a little bit more. Uh, but that gives us an insight. This manometer, this gauge gives us an insight into what's actually happening inside the group. The Aria comes standard with joystick style uh, steam and hot water wands. Now, I like these because you can just press it in, in the down position, for example, to purge it, or it locks in the top position as well. Uh, and that's instant on, as well as instant off 
comes right off. They're very easy to use, quite practical. And that goes for the hot water as well. If you need hot water for an Americano or for a tea, uh, you can do that very easily using the joystick style valve. On the left side here, we have the PID. And a PID is a digital thermostat. It controls the temperature inside the boiler. The PID is just over the double manometer on the left-hand side. Now, what Bezerra does is a little bit different and a little bit interesting. You can see that's set to 92 degrees. And of course, the water inside that heat exchanger boiler is a lot hotter because I can see I'm at over one and a half bars. So uh, in order to get one and a half bars of pressure, that water's gotta be boiling, which means it's gotta be over 100 degrees Celsius. So Bezerra is trying or attempting to give you control over your extraction temperature. So I have it set to 92 degrees and it should yield 92 degrees at the group. Uh, very few manufacturers are doing that. Most of the time when you have a PID on a heat exchanger boiler, uh, the readout is the actual temperature inside the boiler, which will be something like 120 or 125 degrees Celsius. Here, Bezerra is trying to let us know and control our actual extraction temperature, uh, which I think is a lot more useful. The PID, which we'll see in a moment, also acts as a shot timer, which is a very useful feature. It's a feature that I personally really like. When I go from a machine that has it to one that doesn't, it's a feature that I miss, so, so I do like to have it. And lastly, we have the drip tray, which I think is actually a decent size for a compact machine. Uh, the drip tray also has a connection here uh, so you can drain it. So you can hook this up to a drain or if you want to drain into like a, a larger jug or something like that, you do have that ability. With this off, I'll also point out some of the uh, build quality features of the Bezerra. You can see the entire frame is made out of stainless steel, which is also a really nice touch because a lot of machines um, use painted steel for the base. They use spot welds. Bezerra is nice and solid. On the inside, the Bezerra area is powered using a one and a half liter heat exchanger boiler, uh, which is a good enough size for home use. You'll get plenty of steam. You'll be able to make lots of espressos back to back. The machine comes with a uh, very decent tamper. You see right here, it's a, a kind of a anodized aluminum tamper. Uh, the base is kind of interesting too. They use a C-flat base, which means the center of the base is flat and the outside is a uh, convex shape. Uh, that's a little unusual. I do like it because it's a break from the ordinary. Also included, and this is something I really like and something a lot of customers ask for, Bezerra includes two portafilters. You have your standard double spout, but the second portafilter that they include is the bottomless, which is one that many times people will buy extra with the area. You don't have to do that. It's right in the box for you. The first set of drinks I'm going to make is going to be uh, two shots of espresso. And alongside the area, I'm using the Eureka Mignon Libra grinder. Uh, this is a grind by weight grinder that's really, um, really quite incredible. It's a great pairing with this machine or any other machine in this range. Even though this machine is a heat exchanger and usually I recommend doing a cooling flush, uh, the PID on this machine keeps the water actually at a very reasonable temperature. So um, I've done a few cooling flushes with this machine and I'm not getting any steam. It seems that the water is at a great temperature. So really, if you want to do a cooling flush, you can, but I don't think that it's necessary. Put my portafilter in there. And I'm actually going to turn this to the right to restrict my flow uh, a little bit. So I'm going to start with a fairly restricted flow and then slowly begin to open it. See my pressure now is growing and there it goes to nine to nine bars. Now, when you do uh, flow control, my extraction's almost at 30 seconds already. Uh, I'm actually gonna let it run a little bit longer because I was doing that pre-infusion. Let's stop it right around there. And you can see we've got two lovely shots. And I'm gonna give one of these a try. Mm, very nice, really nice sweetness. So the next drink that I'm gonna make is gonna be a milk-based drink, a latte. 
Now, this is a, a heat exchange machine, so I can draw espresso and froth milk at the same time, but I can't do both of those things and use the flow control. <laughs> I, I just don't have enough hands or coordination. Uh, so I'm going to leave the flow control open uh, on this one, and this will basically make the machine act like a normal machine without... When that's open, it just acts like a regular E61. So I'll put my cup down here. <clears throat> Purge the steam. And I'll begin extracting and then frothing my milk at the same time. The alternate is if you do want to flow profile your shot, uh, you would do your uh, espresso first and milk second. Then we just have to add our milk. Making a lovely latte. Mm, that tastes fantastic. The final drink that I'm gonna make is gonna be an Americano. And I like to do my Americano's water first. So I'll just add some hot water to my cup here. Stop it right there. I'm gonna give the machine a moment to refill because it's gonna call for more water to refill the heat exchanger boiler. I've actually switched to the bottomless portafilter for this extraction. I did that to give myself a little bit more height because as you can see, this cup is a little higher and we'll also be able to see the behavior of the flow control more uh, with a bottomless extraction. So I have the flow fully closed and I'm going to open it here. I'm going to start, I mean, extracting here. And then I'm going to open it by a little bit, allow my coffee to pre-infuse and my pressure to begin to start building. Then I can add a little bit, I mean, open it a little bit more. And now my pressure starting to build. We're already at 20 seconds, so I'm actually going to let it go. You can see that extraction is uh, a little bit on, of course, the fast side. But you certainly get the idea that you can uh, manipulate different variables to try and get the very most out of your coffee. Bezerra has been building espresso machines longer than anyone. They've been hand building espresso machines in their factory in Milan since 1901. And their experience really shows. Bezer is a very respected brand and they're known for their build quality and the value that they offer customers worldwide. The Aria, for its feature set, its compact body, its impressive styling, rotary pump, joystick style steam and hot water valves, a flow control valve, E61 group head, PID, I mean those are a lot of features and the machine is priced very well I think for an Italian made product with this incredible feature set. In addition to all that, and I've said this before, but I love Bezerra's logo. I think they have one of the coolest logos out of any company. The logo is also the city crest of Milan. It's the serpent or the snake eating a man. Uh, and I think it looks super cool. It makes the espresso machine look awesome. If you have any questions about the Area Top or the Eureka Minion Libra, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about espresso machines, about coffee grinders, coffee machines, everything to do with coffee. Thanks for watching and have a great day.